Hey, many fish. 19th of August, 2024. Pray you're well. This is, uh, it's the same video I uploaded a couple of days ago on BitChute. I was only able to upload it there. I've been having a bunch of technical weirdness going on as of late. And I wasn't able to get it up over here on YouTube or on Rumble. So you may have already seen this video. It's just some clips that I believe are pertinent to this day. And I'm just uploading it to make sure I can still upload. So God bless each and every one of you. You cannot sit back and wait for a savior. I am the chosen one. We don't need a messiah. It is no accident that Trump was anointed by God in Pennsylvania. All we need are decent, honest, hardworking people. If I do something wrong, I think I just try and make it right. I don't bring God into that picture. Who are accountable. Let me tell you, I'm very proud of the vaccine. So I'm very proud of the vaccine. They don't take it because they don't trust Biden. And we were giving out over a million shots a day. We had that thing rocking. And he's now president. And he's doing a lousy job. I'm the one that did well. I'm the one that got all the equipment. I'm the one that got the vaccine. I'm the one that did well. America's best Talked about my Muslim faith, and you're absolutely right that that has not Christian come faith. Uh, my, my Christian faith. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. That has to be the answer. You will never see it coming. <laughs> you think I'm joking? It's called Operation Warp Speed. So that's one of the things we're really going to push on is vaccinate somebody to prevent infection and actually make them worse. But this is going to be the answer to our problem. Are you familiar with what the Federal Emergency Management Agency's real power is? FEMA allows the White House to suspend constitutional government upon declaration of a national emergency. Think about that. The president will declare a state of emergency at which time all government, all federal agencies will come under the power now we need to go and look in families to find those people who may be sick and remove them and isolate them in a in a safe and dignified manner we're in a live exercise this is only the beginning of what we're really doing and now we're in a different phase we've got to be very strong very very smart and we've got to come together as a world community Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. This matters going forward. We're in a, we're in a live exercise here to get this right. Santa Anita Racetrack, for example, suddenly became a community of about 17,000 persons. The Army provided housing and plenty of healthful, nourishing food for all. At each relocation center, evacuees were met by an advanced contingent of Japanese who had arrived some days earlier and who now acted as guides. To achieve the universal aspirations of mankind, peace and security, freedom and the rule of law, such is a world worthy of our struggle and worthy of our children's future. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. Somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. It is no accident that Trump was anointed by God in Pennsylvania. Trump was anointed by God in Pennsylvania. It's called Operation Warp Speed. My Muslim faith. And you're absolutely right that that has not Christian come faith. Uh, my, my Christian faith. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well funded.
biggest single group we have ever seen during our border coverage crossed illegally into El Paso, Texas right now. And we'll get right to that stunning footage. Take a look at this. This was Sunday night in El Paso, an enormous migrant caravan of well over 1,000 people crossed illegally. Wave of hundreds of these migrants just walking across the river and then gathering on the U.S. side of the river. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. It's called Operation Warp Speed. And we were giving out over a million shots a day. We had that thing rocking. I'm the one that did well. I'm the one that got all the equipment. I'm the one that got the vaccine. I'm the one that did well. As you can see, we got U.S. 2013 information, population 316 million. Let's go down to the forecast for 2025. What do we got? How do we get from 316 million to a forecast of 69 million in 2025? This is for the U.S. from Deagle. If anybody has a good explanation for this, please let America know. How are we going to be going from 316 million inhabitants to 69 million inhabitants forecast for 2025. If you've read the Bible, you might know that this is right in line with what it tells us about the end times. That massive swaths of people, plants and animal life alike will perish in very short order and by various means. When it ends for these hypothesized people, are they going to spend eternity with God in heaven? Or do they even ponder the question? You know, for those of you who may ponder that question, it is of imperative importance that you know that Jesus is the only way. Ask him, learn of him. Our time in this life is but a vapor. Tomorrow is not an assurity for any of us. So accept and receive him as your savior and live. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 